Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the limit as x approaches 1 of a negative x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. And again, we're finding this limit. When we see limits like this, right away we can't just plug in 1 to be x because, well, it would be divided by 0. All right. So with rational functions, we're going to try to simplify this, and a lot of it involves factoring. So I see the top part can factor, so I'm going to factor that top part. So again, we write the limit as x approaches 1 of a negative, and we're going to try to factor that numerator. That's going to be over the x minus 1. Most likely, the x minus 1 is be one of the factors, and in reality, the top part factors to be x minus 1 and x plus 1. We can see the x minus 1's cancel, and so if I put that down here, we have the limit now as x approaches 1 of a negative, in parentheses, just that x plus 1 part. It's at this point we can take the limit. So if we take the limit, we can put the 1 in for the x, and we have a negative 1 plus 1. If you want to put a parenthesis to show you substituted it in. And then we keep simplifying, really. 1 plus 1 is a 2, your negative is out front, and so our limit here and final answer is just a negative 2. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.